Hello everyone and welcome back to more Animal Crossing. Got Mitzi here today and it looks like she's sporting a new shirt. I like it, it's cute. But let's get started, we have a ton of stuff to do today. It's the 28th of May, I haven't been playing for a few days but as you'll remember, uh, Katrina was supposed to visit yesterday and she actually uh, visits at 9pm but because it's also Saturday there's something else that we can do late at night. So I figured that before she leaves at 9pm this day we'll go see her. But we're also going to see another special villager who also comes on Saturdays. So it's going to be pretty fun and I have a lot of other stuff to do. Like um, I've been playing off screen and I think I've built up enough money to pay off my debt. If I'm correct. Uh, yeah I have 15,000 at the minute so I'm pretty sure I have enough money and we also have some mail. Too much mail, apparently. <laughs> uh, not right now. We'll keep those letters in the uh, in the mailbox for now. But I do have some museum letters that I have yet to uh, I have yet to donate the fossils, and I've sent off some more fossils from when I played the other day. Uh, a Triceratops torso. Uh, oh, a letter from home. So, hun, you must be pretty well settled over there by now. I hope you're making a point of being nice to your neighbours. Nobody likes a creepy next door recluse. She should know, did she say? Uh, something from Tom Nook. Um, extremely rare items. More stuff from the museum. Dinosaur egg. Uh, an ammonite. An Apatosaurus torso. And a dinosaur track. So we're going to be taking a few things to the museum, it looks like. I'm going to throw away this letter from Tom Nook. And I guess I'm going to take some of these out so we can throw away these letters. Uh, no, I don't want to grab that. We'll take all the presents. We'll take some of the presents just so we can see what other letters we have. We also have a new villager. I hope they're still here and they haven't moved out. But um, the other day a new villager turned up as well so I want you guys to see her. Let's just get rid of these three letters. Uh, I think we should be fine to take everything else from our mailbox. Yeah, okay, so what's this final letter then? From the HRA, okay. Oh, 357 points, wowie! <laughs> We're doing so good, right, so let's see. Oh, we have two! Two new villagers now. One that I haven't actually met yet. Huck, Mitzi, and we have Tutu as well. Uh, Tutu is the one that I've already met, but let's go meet Hornsby as well. I have no idea who Hornsby is. I've had Tutu in the town before, so I do actually know who she is. Uh, hello, Hornsby. Let's get the shovel out of my hands. Let's go meet our new neighbour. Seems like a neighbourly thing to do. Okay. Oh, he's a rhino! Oh, he's adorable. He's an adorable rhino. Whoa, how'd it get so late? That's it, I'm off to bed. Schnozzle. Time to saw some logs. Oh, before I do, I guess I ought to introduce myself, Schnozzle. Sleepiness is no excuse for rudeness. My name's Hornsby. Let's talk more when I'm not knock knock knocking on Snoozeland's door. So I guess he goes to bed quite early. He has a pretty nice house. Good on you, Hornsby. I approve. Let's go meet Tutu quickly. I don't think we're going to have a lot of time to talk to neighbours today because I've got so much going on in the town. Ooh. I want this. Okay. Let's go ahead and dig you up. Oh, hi, what? Ah. Just a, uh, a gyroid or gyroid, whatever they're called. Oh, and here's Tutu. Hello. Hey there. Evening. You know, I was just thinking, for snails, this miserable rain must be like the best thing ever, Twinkles. I think maybe I'm a little jealous of those snails. Hey, did you want something or what, Twinkles? What's going on? Every year in May, I wonder, who is it that puts those wind socks up and why, Twinkles? Um, I haven't seen any wind socks, actually, but I think uh, there'll be random wind socks. I don't know if it means anything. I've never seen it before in particular whilst I've been playing. But, uh, darn it, I just put my shovel away. 
Okay. Goody. Another fossil. So I have a couple to send off today at least. So we should... Oh, well, I'm just going to leave that. We should have a couple to send out and maybe get some more next time. I'm hoping to show the descriptions for most of the stuff that Blathers gives. Oh god, it's you. This is the other postal worker. She is a hoe. <laughs> a customer. So, what do you want? I want to deposit. Yes, yes, you want to pay off your debt to old Nook? Someone actually pay actually paying? You still owe 11,000. Yep. I think I can pay that off. So let's just go for it. Oh, might as well do this. Sure. And we still have bells left over, so that's pretty damn nice. You paid it all off? That's no fun. Thanks. So, do you need anything else? No. She's missing her soaps. Well, God forbid that I make you miss your soaps. So we can go see Nook now. Yes! I paid off all of my loan. I'm completely debt free for about five seconds. Because we're going to go pretty much straight over to Nook's. Let's check the dump first. See if there's. Oh, there's paper. Cherry shirt. Some paper, which is pretty useful. It means you don't have to buy any paper. But I'm still going to check out Nook's because. I want to check if he's got any uh, other tools, like anything different from a shovel, because every time I've gone into the game, he's only had the shovel, and it's really annoying at this point. Thank you, Pepper. Thanks much. I very much appreciate you paying off your house in such a timely manner. You're a dynamo, yes? I knew you'd pay it all back, Pepper. Never doubted. You're quite responsible for someone your age. Is this your way of telling me your house is too small? Don't be shy, it's normal to want a bigger home, hmm. It's just animal nature. Well, if you like, I can remodel it for you nicely. I can easily make it bigger. I don't even have any furniture in my house, I don't think. Then you'll be able to fit a lot more furniture in it, and with more furniture comes more happiness. So how about it, hmm? Would you like me to remodel your house? Please. That's what I imagined. If anybody would want to remodel their house, it would be you, Pepper. So since we're remodeling, what colour roof would you like your new house to have? Uh, not any of those colours. Uh, sky blue? Is there a darker blue? Like, darker blues. Yeah, we'll just go with blue. I see, I see, yes. Blue is a fine colour. Very good, then. I'm surprised blue isn't one of the initial colours that you can have on your house. Well, I should be finished with the task tomorrow. I bet you can't wait. No, I can't. Oh, I want, I'm thinking about buying that umbrella because it's raining. And we have a net! Ha fabulous, right. I definitely want this. So we might be able to do some bug catching tomorrow. That'd be fun. Okay, yeah, I don't need you to tell me how to use the nets. I'm very familiar with how to use nets. I can, yes, I can do it. Yes, okay, thank you, Nook. That's enough of you. Right. We don't have much space left in our inventory. But uh, I want to head to Copper quickly so we can find out where Katrina is before our other guest shows up in about five minutes. Hi Copper! Is there anything going on? I would like to know where Katrina is. An unsettling with content appeared in Acre C5. Okay, so yes, she comes at 9pm on the day that uh, the day that Copper says she'll turn up and she stays until 9pm the next day. So even though he said she was coming on the 27th, she will stay here till the 28th. So you can go on either of those days to get a fortune. You can probably- oh gosh darn it. Well there's that pitfall. Good old Lily tripping me up like that. So yes, pitfalls will cause you to fall into the floor. And uh, if you activate them, you can't pick them up. So unfortunately, I wasted that pitfall by just walking into it. And here we are, guys. This is Katrina's tent. Let's go see what kind of fortune we get today. Hi there. Yee-haw ha ta ta ta. Yee-haw ha ta ta ta. Do you wish me to give you a reading for the meagre price of 50 bells? That's much better than it is now. Read my fortune. Then let us begin. Kiha moata, kiha moatata, lutamatata, 
Yee! Ahem, I am through. In the desert, a garlic packed marshmallow will be making faces. That's very unusual, I can't see that being in my future at all. That's what I see. It means some good things may happen and some bad things may happen. But don't let small things bother you and always do what you believe is best. That's what it means and that's all it means. That is all. I will now take your 50 bells. Right, I have I have no idea what that meant. But there we go, that is Katrina. Um, I know uh, she there's a tripping thing that she does. Sometimes it causes villagers to not want to talk to you. Uh, but it can also give you, it can make it so that you can find more items or more money from trees. All kinds of stuff like that. Right, and here we have the other special visitor today, who is KK. You might recognise him from the very first video that we did. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Hey man, don't stand way over there. Why don't you come up to the front row? Oh, okay, because I'm standing slightly to the left, he won't talk to me apparently. Here we go. Cool, baby. I'm always in into catching new hipsters on the scene. My name's Toto Keke, but when I'm out here playing my tunes on Saturday nights, I go by KK Slider. I'm all about the music, man. I don't need fame or fortune. Commercialism is for squares. It's not my bag. Want me to jam for you? Oh, yeah. Cool. If there's something you want to hear, just tell me the name of the tune, and I'll jam. I'm talking about requests. Do you have a request? Eh, uh, not really. Let's just let him play something random today. You tap for tunes? No problem. Dig this one, man. KK Samba. And there we go guys, that was KK Slider doing KK Samba. Um, I love his little house, they're so adorable. Hey, thanks for listening. Let me give you the air check for KK Samba. The air check, it's the recording man, the music. It's a pretty cool tune, you can dig it on the box back at your pad. Later. Okay, so that's the other thing he will do. He will give you the song that he plays you, and you can do requests if you want to get specific songs. And the tape deck that you get at the beginning of the game, in your house, you can put it on that to play it in your room. And you can store as you can store all of the music in there basically. And I think you can get other tape players. Sure, I will pop in a tune. Okay, 
so now it's at least a bit more musical in here, even though it looks awful. Again, I will work on the room. I just... I'm mean, too busy doing other things to do that. But, final thing that I want to do today is... Uh, have some stuff to the museum, finally. We have a, a bunch of fossils to give to Blathers. So, I will meet you guys there, and we will... If I can actually find it. And we will, uh donate some things and see what Blathers says about them. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what Blathers thinks of some of these items we have to give him. I would like to donate. Okay, first things first, we have a Sego tail. Ooh, ooh, I say, a Sego tail. The day the remaining pieces of our prehistoric puzzle are found will be a joyous one indeed. Good luck to you. You have our deepest, most profound gratitude. Uh, okay, so he won't, uh... Well, that's sad. He doesn't tell you about the fossils until you get all of the pieces, I guess. But, just so you can all know what I'm donating, I won't show every single thing. Uh, we have, as well, an ammonite... A plesio torso, a T-Rex skull, and a Triceratorso in my bag, and we have uh, three more fossils, which I'll show you after these are all donated. Wait, he might have something to say about the ammonite, though. Well, who and who again? An ammonite! My stars! A very impressive find! Ah, yes, wonderful! This fossil is of exceedingly superior quality, what what? Now then, I know a thing or two about these creatures. Yes, indeed, ammonites. Though ammonites lived in shells, they were not shellfish, but rather mollusks, like octopi and squid. The closest living relative to the ammonites is the chambered nautilus. Fantas fascinating, though. Ammonites existed from the D Devonian period, some 400 million years ago, to the end of the Crustaceous period. Their extinction coincided with that of the dinosaurs. Time and tide wait for neither man nor beast. What? Oh, who? Blathers, you ninny. I've gone and done it again. Spewing out more information than necessary. So sorry. And finally, we have a dinosaur track, a dinosaur egg, and an apato torso. So let's go ahead and donate those too. I know he'll have things to say about the egg and the track, so let's donate those first. Who I say, woohoo! A fossilized footprint. Looks like some paleontology is afoot. Hoo hoo hoo. But truly, this is quite an earth shaking find. I've never seen a specimen that can match it in beauty. The distinct three toed foot tells us that this is the print of a theropod from perhaps the Jurassic period, eh what? It's impossible to discern anything more specific, but speculation is free and a vital part of paleontology. Imagine a terrible carnivore stalking its prey, its great weight pressing down into the earth, and voila, history! Who, aren't I the blatherer? I beg your pardon, please. I do hope I didn't put you into a comatose state. Who, I say, who upon who? A fossilised egg! Excellent! I must apologise for that atrocious pun. So sorry. I just got carried away in my excitement, eh what? Because this is a grade A specimen. Hoo hoo hoo! Now, I hate to admit this, but I cannot identify the species of dinosaur that produced this particular egg. I can envision its hatching, though, and from the shards, a new life slowly emerging, a miracle of flesh and bone. Who, the wonder of it all, the drama, the spectacle, the ebb and flow, the grass and grit, life, I say, life. Who, mercy, who am I indeed? I must apologise profusely. I, I was lost in the moment. My beak flaps on its own. Okay, that's everything. So, um, I guess now that we've donated all of those fossils, we'll go into the fossil exhibit and see how far along we've come in just a couple of days. So, we've got, I think that's the Apato torso. We've got three of the five kind of standalone things. That's probably the Triceratops, that's definitely the T-Rex. A Stego tail. And the end of a Plesiosaur. So it's already looking pretty good, at least a lot better than it was when it was just an empty room. But I guess that's it for now, I'm going to head back to the house and uh, end the video. And here we are guys, I took the liberty of mailing off any of the fossils that I picked up today. So there should be more stuff to potentially donate to the museum tomorrow. And I'm thinking of doing a little bug catching tomorrow whilst we're at it as well. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, there was a lot to do today. Um, if you did, then go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. And until next time, goodbye!